Okay guys, I'm going to break this uh, kind of simple activity up into two uh, hopefully brief videos. First thing I want to do is I want to show you how to use the holes feature in Inventor. So we're going to create this relatively simple idea, this, this block here, and we're going to put some different holes in it. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to make a, a simplified version of this, a drawing with a section view and some annotations on it. So let's take a look at the first thing. Let's render the object first using the holes feature. Before we do that, let's talk a little bit about what these pictures look like, because we're going to look for pictures that are similar to this one. This picture is referred to as a counter bore, and we'll see when we're making the holes how we select it. This one would be counter sunk. This one would be just a through hole, and it says flat out there, through. And then we have another counter bore. So we're going to see where these numbers come from. And then here we're going to see a special one. This is the tolerance. So what this means is this hole, when you manufacture it, might be anywhere from uh, 0.002 inches smaller in diameter or 0 0.002 inches larger in diameter. And we'll deal more with tolerances as we come, as we go through the course. So let's go ahead and figure out how to make uh, this feature. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch. I'm going to work on here because to me it seems like we're going to drill this hole down. I like to have that there. And I'm going to first start off with a center point circle. This is going to make things a little bit faster when we do a center point in, in a bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. The first one according to our dimensions is 5. I'm going to hit tab and 2 and enter. And that's it. We're going to hit finish sketch. Bring that in. We'll extrude it. I'm going to go in the opposite direction. We're going to extrude it 3. 3. We're going to make a sketch on the top here. And now we'll see, I'm going to rotate it a little bit so my block looks like my drawing. Now we'll see why I did the center uh, point rectangle because I can use this as a reference line. I'm going to just quickly place then on this sketch uh, four points where I want my center of the circle to be. So I'll select point, and right now I'm just going to put them there. One, two, three, four. That's enough. Look back at that drawing, and they've used chain dimensioning. So all I'm going to do right here is pause the video and do it. You do the same thing. All right, so there is my sketch on the top of this block, and of course my points are dimensioned according to the plans, and the center point is going to represent then the center of the hole. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting a hole in. I'm going to use the hole feature. It's the first time I've talked about the hole feature in this class, although some of you have done it before, and automatically it selects all of them. Each hole, if each hole was going to be identical, this would be great, but they're not. Each one will be different. So I'm going to deselect by holding shift and click on these and we're going to do just one at a time. So you'll notice from your project lead the way plans that the first one that we're going to do, the one furthest to the left here, is what's called a counter bore. So we're going to interpret these plans. This arrow is exactly what it looks like, what you think, that's the depth. So the outer edge, the counter bore, will be in diameter of 0.75 and go 0.5 inches deep, whereas the uh, skinnier hole, I guess you could say, will be 0.5 and go 2 inches deep. So let's see how we do that with Inventor. So I'm going to look for what uh, here, and that's the picture that says counter bore there. So I'm going to call it, hit it. We're not going to drill it all the way through, so we're going to see, note we can change this. We are going to use a distance in this case. And the first one tells us what it should be. What should this outer diameter be? According to our plans, that outer diameter should be 0.75. This is the depth of the counter bore, which according to our plan should be 0.5. And this is the whole depth, if I mouse over that, and the whole depth should be a total of 2. And this is the diameter, which should be 0.5. I hit OK. Right? So there it is, and if we manipulate this, we can see that we, we can move it and see it in there. It didn't go all the way through, but that's exactly what we wanted. So we're going to put those four other ones in there. Where did our sketch go? I'm going to pull back here, go to and then hit sketch and go share sketch so my points are there again. I'll do one more with you, and then I'm going to leave the other two for you to do. So the next one we're going to do is a hole right there. So I'll hit hole. I'll select that. And again, I'm going to deselect the ones that I don't want to do. And we'll focus on this one. This one is a countersink, so it looks like this. I'm going to click that one, 
And in this case, we are going to go all the way through. So I can change distance to through, and that just changes a few things for me. According to my plans, Uh, I want the diameter, the large diameter, to be point or one inch, and it'll be 82 degree angle. And then it's going to be uh, the diameter of the hole itself will be a half inch. Again, it's going to go all the way through. So we'll just try to interpret this. This diameter should be one, and it shows you the diameter there. The angle was already set for 82 degrees, and we know the diameter of the the hole should be 0.5. So we'll hit apply. And we can go on and, get, and edit the next ones. So I'm going to let you guys do that. And then the next video will be how to make a section view drawing of this.